Hey everybody, this is Matt Mailco at NBC Sports Bay Area checking in with an update after 40 hours practice on Thursday. And this is brought to you by Canyon Club Brewery. It's a brewery, restaurant, beer garden, all located in a very family-friendly atmosphere in Moraga. Coming soon to the delivery in Danville, Canyon Club Brewery. Okay, so the big news from practice on Thursday was... Uh, Brock Purdy was throwing at the beginning of practice, just throwing to some staff members, wasn't throwing any routes to receivers or anything of that nature. And that's more than what he did on Wednesday when the 49ers were out there for the practice. About the first uh, 15, 20 minutes of practice is open to the local media. And then once they start putting in, you know, their game plan stuff and they start practicing, uh, that's when the media has to leave. So on Wednesday, uh, the media witnessed none of Brock Purdy throwing a football. And on Thursday, he was out there throwing lightly. At the one point I saw Dustin Little, the 49ers head athletic trainer, come over and start to work on his right shoulder a little bit. So he's having this shoulder soreness that popped up in the game against the Seattle Seahawks on Sunday. And then uh, he turned in, you know, he uh, went into the weight room uh, for physical therapy or whatever the case may be. And so you know, Brandon Allen would be in line uh, to be the 49ers starting quarterback if Brock Purdy can't go. Now, Kyle Shanahan just appeared on KNBR on his weekly radio hit. And what he said was that he did, Brock Purdy did a little bit more on Thursday than he did on Wednesday. And we were able to witness that. And he said, hopefully he'll be feeling great on Sunday. So um, an interesting side note to all this is that Usually Brock Purdy speaks on Thursdays. That's his time that they've carved out for him to talk to the local media, uh, answer questions, all of that stuff. And so the 49ers have their press conferences set up so that Kyle Shanahan speaks on Wednesday and Friday. And then um, Nick Sorensen, the defensive coordinator, and then run game coordinator Chris Furster speak on Thursday and then Brock Purdy. Well, Brock Purdy did not speak. He was receiving treatment, is what I understand, during that time. And then I did go up to Brandon Allen in the locker room, and he uh, didn't want to speak today or you know, politely declined and just said he had to go somewhere. And I asked him, he said he would talk later. And I asked if that meant in this particular locker room period, uh, locker rooms open for about 30, 45 minutes um, on the days when the Freyers are practicing. And I couldn't quite pick out what he said, but he did say um, – that he would be speaking later. So the 49ers plan is to have one of their quarterbacks or, you know, at least a quarterback available to talk to the media on Friday. And then the team will get on their team buses, head to the airport and fly to green Bay. So at this point, it remains to be seen if that quarterback speaking to the media will be Brock Purdy or Brandon Allen or both. And my thought would be that they will probably list Brock Purdy as questionable on their official injury report on Friday. Um, other injury news for the 49ers, as I would think that Brock Purdy's availability for this game is very much in question. Um, guys who did not practice, Nick Bosa and Trent Williams, those guys are, are nursing injuries too. And Bosa with the hip and the oblique, Trent Williams had the ankle injury that I watched him work out before the game on Sunday, and it looked kind of 50-50 whether he'd be able to play in that game against Seattle. He ended up deciding to play, or they worked him out a little bit. He decided to play, and they did shoot up that angle for a ankle for a painkiller, uh, painkilling injection to enable him to play. And I, you know, I don't think he was moving all that great. So it is very much in question as well whether Bosa and or Trent Williams will be able to play. And then the other player uh, who was did not take part in practice is Jacob Cowing. Now, I did see him running on the side, which means that he is progressing through the NFL's concussion protocol. So it's a situation where um, he would definitely be able to have time to pass through it if he remains symptom-free throughout this period of time. Uh, players who were limited in practice on Thursday – 
I mentioned Purdy, even though he didn't take part in any of the real practice, the fact that he was out there at the beginning and going through some warm-up drills, that is classified as a limited practice. Uh, Christian McCaffrey also limited. He seems to be fine to play in this game. Kittle is fine to play in this game. And then the other one is uh, Charvarius Ward. In fact, going back to Kittle, he said, you know, there's basically no chance that he won't play in this game. He didn't say that last week. Uh, all indications are that he will be available. And then for Charvarius Ward, um, out there at practice uh, for the first time. Now, remember, he missed three weeks of practice uh, dealing with uh, grieving the loss of his uh, nearly two-year-old daughter, Amani Joy. And so Frayers will make that decision later in the week whether – uh, they're going to be able to suit him up and whether he'll uh, be in uniform for the four years game against the Green Bay Packers. So that's the update from here, uh, from Santa Clara. Uh, I'll be leaving Friday night, uh, heading on a red eye uh, to, I believe, Chicago and then Green Bay. Weather appears to be good. I know I talked to uh, some friends of mine who are traveling to Green Bay on Thursday and they got stuck at O'Hare. They had all kinds of flights canceled. I understand a lot of 49ers fans were stranded in the airport. If you're one of those 49er fans, leave a comment below. Let me know how you're doing, uh, what your plan is to get to Green Bay. My particular friends, uh, Ken and Steph, decided to rent a car at O'Hare and drive to Green Bay. It's about a three-hour trip. So uh, the weather there apparently is bad. It's Chicago's called the Windy uh, City for a reason. And um, weather over the weekend is supposed to be good, though. Uh, temperatures low of like 33, a high of 47. Uh, kickoff is at 325 local time. Sunset is at 4. 17 in Green Bay, so it'll get cold, I think, by the end of this game, but not nearly as cold as the 49 last trip there for that playoff game following the 2021 season. Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, I think, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, leave a, a like and a comment, and that is it for now.